Emma is gazing out the window at the city while Tom shares that she's been on his mind. They drink together, and he expresses his deep feelings for her, but she insists she can't continue their relationship. Despite Tom's pleas, Emma ends their affair. As she leaves, he asks to see her one last time the next day, but she declines, noting it's her anniversary. The following day, Emma enters an office building and heads straight to her husband's office. His assistant hands her flowers and wishes her a happy anniversary. Inside, she finds a file on the desk, which she opens to discover a photo of the man who robbed and attacked her. She has a flashback of the incident just as her husband, Mark, walks in, commenting on her dress and suggesting she change into one he prefers. Finding the photo in her hand, Mark advises her it will only increase her anxiety. He explains that he has her file because her attacker's parole is being revoked. Emma questions if he misses being a district attorney rather than a lawyer who helps people like her attacker get out of jail. Mark responds that he prefers the higher pay. They take the elevator together, and on the next floor, Tom joins them. They recount how Emma and Tom first met, each remembering the details differently. Later, the couple goes out for their anniversary dinner. Emma isn't in the mood for dessert, but Mark orders one for her anyway. He then gives her a steel necklace since it's their steel anniversary. While they're eating, they notice another couple getting engaged, and Mark remarks that Emma used to be as happy as that girl. Emma gives Mark his gift, a pair of Super Bowl tickets, but he dislikes them. He puts the necklace on her and wishes her a happy anniversary. Emma heads to the washroom, where she hears the newly engaged girl crying. Emma tells her that just because she accepted the proposal, it doesn't mean she has to go through with the wedding. The girl snaps at her, but Emma congratulates her anyway. As they leave the restaurant, the server finds the Super Bowl tickets left as a tip. Once outside, Mark tells Emma he has one more surprise. Later, they are driving somewhere with Emma blindfolded. She gets anxious and tries to remove the blindfold, but Mark stops her. Emma takes off the blindfold just as they arrive at their lake house, which Mark had prepared earlier. He believes they can rekindle their marriage there. Inside, Emma finds a message on the table with wedding vows. She follows Mark's clues around the house, leading her to a dark room filled with their photos and a record player ready for use. When Emma hears the music, she starts laughing and heads to the second floor to find Mark. She finds him in their bedroom, waiting for her with champagne. Mark apologizes for not being a good husband and says this anniversary is the first step in fixing their marriage. They sleep together. The next morning, Emma wakes up feeling cold and quickly realizes that Mark has chained himself to her. She gets upset, and Mark turns around and kills himself. Emma pushes him off, and they both fall over the bed. She panics and starts pulling at the chain. After a moment, she calms down and drags his body to the landline, but it's dead. She sees the gun and tries to shoot the chain, but it's out of bullets, so she drops it under the bed. Then, she drags his body to the closet and finds only her wedding dress hanging there. Behind it, she finds a safe. Later, she's seen wearing Mark's bloody shirt and dragging his body on the dress. She tries to pull him down the stairs, but they both tumble down. In the kitchen, Emma discovers that Mark has submerged her phone in water, rendering it useless. She searches the kitchen for a blade but finds nothing. Finally, she checks the trash can and finds Mark's car keys. Next, she is seen wearing his clothes and dragging the body through the snowy path to the car. Once she gets there, she gets inside and starts the car. It runs for a few moments as she warms her hands, but then it stops because Mark has siphoned out the gas. The radio comes on with a recording of him saying he knew about Tom. Emma hauls the body back to the house and cleans his blood off her face. She notices the necklace he gave her in the mirror and struggles to take it off but can't untie it. Then, she checks the basement for tools but finds none. She drags the body upstairs, resolved to escape. Once out of the basement, she hears something in the dark room. All the pictures inside are now of her and Tom, as well as one of her post-attack. She turns to see a huge mug shot of her attacker. She goes to the record player and listens to a recording of her husband interviewing her after the attack, before they were married. Emma has a flashback to the attack. Suddenly, she hears a car outside and someone approaching the door. There's a knock, and she quickly locks it. Tom is at the door, saying he received her message asking for help. He sees the blood on her shirt, and she tells him she didn't send any message. Emma opens the door and recounts the incident. Tom informs her that Mark's entire career is on the brink of ruin. He asks if she's contacted the police and then tries to give her legal advice, outlining the gravity of the situation. Emma insists Tom should call the police anyway, as she can no longer bear the burden alone. When Tom steps out to retrieve his phone from the car, they notice another vehicle approaching. Emma thinks they should flee, but Tom reassures her that he can manage the situation and instructs her to lock the door. As the car pulls up, a man named Jimmy approaches Tom, claiming he's there to fix a broken pipe. 
Tom offers to pay Jimmy the amount he would have earned for the repair and does so, but Jimmy insists on coming inside to use the bathroom. When Tom firmly denies him and asks him to leave, Emma hides. Suddenly, another man exits the car and advances towards Tom, stabbing him. The second man, Bobby, enters the house first and scans the area. Emma immediately recognizes him as her assailant. Jimmy reacts with distress over Tom's fatal injury and apologizes as Tom dies. He pleads with Bobby to leave, but Bobby reminds his younger brother that they must locate Emma first. Both of them search for her. Bobby notices the chaos in the bedroom and discovers the safe. Jimmy observes the bloody trail inside the house. Emma drags the body to the boat shed, but Jimmy sees the trail and hesitantly follows it. She manages to get the body into the shed and finds a boat propeller. Emma cuts off Mark's hand to free herself from his chains just as Jimmy enters the shed. She hides before he can spot her. He searches the place and, upon seeing the body, dashes back to the house to fetch his brother. They both return to the shed but only find the body. Emma is hidden under the boat, listening to their conversation. Bobby identifies Mark as the guy who employed them and tells Jimmy they must find her to get the safe's code. They leave, and Emma uses her dress to bind her feet, then locates the boat's gasoline. The brothers return to the house. Jimmy tells Bobby they can't break open the safe and that it requires a fingerprint and a combination. Emma is hauling the gasoline to the car when she is almost caught by Jimmy, who is heading to the shed to retrieve Mark's body. She manages to get the gasoline to the car and starts pumping it. Bobby hears noise from the garage and goes to investigate. Emma hears him approaching and hides just in time. When he enters, he finds the gasoline but not her. Emma listens to footsteps from under the car. When the tires are blown out, she rushes to the house, nearly getting caught by Jimmy. She makes it to the basement, with Bobby close behind. Emma is trapped on the stairs with Bobby in the basement and Jimmy at the door. As they close in, she sets off a car alarm to distract them. While they check the car, she gets inside and says goodbye to Tom. The brothers argue outside, but Bobby persuades Jimmy they should finish their task, suggesting Emma is still in the house. When they enter, they notice she has taken Tom's coat and shoes. Bobby heads upstairs to investigate, while Jimmy stays on the main floor. Upstairs, Bobby hears a sound in the attic and follows it, thinking he has found Emma. She surprises him and knocks him out. Jimmy, hearing the commotion, finds Bobby, but Emma hits him too and locks him in a room. Emma runs to Tom's car, but Bobby catches up to her. She manages to call the police, but the call is brief. Bobby tells Jimmy to bring a body from upstairs, then knocks Emma out. She regains consciousness, chained to Mark. The brothers try to open the safe, but she insists she doesn't know the combination. Bobby holds Emma down and informs her that the combination is the day Mark proposed to her. She hesitates to reveal the date, fearing he will kill her afterward. Bobby threatens to mutilate her toes, but Jimmy intervenes, attempting to stop him. Bobby pushes Jimmy away and finds the gun Emma dropped. He aims it at his brother, ordering him to back off and leave the knife, then stand by the safe. Jimmy and Emma strike a deal, she will give them the combination once Jimmy releases her from the cuffs. After Jimmy frees her, Bobby drags Mark's body to the safe, using Mark's fingerprint and the combination to open it. Disappointingly, the expected diamonds aren't inside, instead, there's a saw and a message indicating their location. They realize the diamonds are in Emma's necklace. Jimmy tries to open the necklace, but Bobby grows impatient and suggests cutting off Emma's head to retrieve it. He grabs the gun and knocks Jimmy down, but upon attempting to shoot Emma, he discovers the gun is empty. Emma reaches for the knife, but Bobby restrains her once more. Jimmy attempts to intervene, leading to a struggle where Bobby pushes him onto a coat hanger, accidentally killing him. Enraged, Bobby blames Emma and attacks her. They grapple, and he stabs her in the leg. Emma manages to dodge his next strike, grabs a heavy tool, and hits him with it. She escapes, and Bobby ends up chained to Mark this time. Bobby stumbles down the stairs, allowing Emma to flee to her car. After some effort, she starts it and drives over Bobby and other cars blocking her path. Unable to push through, she reverses into the garage, running over Bobby. Losing control, she crashes into the boat shed. Bobby pursues her and finds her crawling onto the ice. He drags Mark's body with him but catches up to Emma. They fight again, and she stabs him. The ice breaks, plunging them all into icy waters. Emma retrieves the knife from Bobby's shoulder and incapacitates him, freeing herself. She swims to the surface but struggles to break through the ice. Desperate, she stabs at the ice from below, eventually breaking through and climbing out. Collapsing on the ice, she removes her ring and tosses it into the water. In the distance, she hears police sirens approaching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon. Take care.